Greetings! Our animal today is a spiral thorn antelope, the Nyala, which is a species belonging to the even-toed ungulates, and within that to the Bovidae family and the Bovinae subfamily. When I built the habitat for the African wild dogs, I designed it so that they could stalk a prey animal on the other side. Of course, every animal is safe here. I have already placed a few nyalas in this habitat, but the tinted glass prevents the antelopes from seeing the wild dogs stalking them. The name nyala is of Swahili origin and comes from the Tsonga language belonging to the Bantu languages. The English took it from this or the Zulu name Inyala. At the same time, in the Wanda language of Bantu origin, Zinyala means Nyala Bong. The first use of the word was in 1899. The scientific name of the Nyala is Tragelaphus angasi. Its first describer was George French Angus, an English explorer, naturalist, painter and poet who emigrated to Australia in the 19th century. The name Angasi is attributed to him, but he said that John Edward Gray actually named the species after Angus's father, George Fife Angus, from South Australia. As with so many animals, in the case of the Nyala, its taxonomic affiliation has been disputed many times, and even now there is no consensus among scientists. However, skull studies have shown that the Nyala and the Mountain Nyala, although they share a common name, are actually only distant relatives. The Tragelaphus genus is generally treated as having 8 species, but an alternative classification recognizes 10 species, including also the two species from the Taurotragus genus, which is the giant eland and the common eland. The Nyala, which is also named as the Lowland Nyala, prefers thickets free in dry, dense savanna woodlands in Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Iswatini, Zambia and Zimbabwe. It was introduced to Botswana and Namibia, then reintroduced to Eswatini, where it became extinct actually in the 1950s. In the Republic of South Africa and Eswatini, large numbers of Nyala live also on private estates. Like other members of the genus Tragelaphus, it is a medium-sized antelope and there are significant differences in color and size between the two sexes. The cows are smaller and have no horns. They are light sandy brown in color, the end of their nose and the tail is black, as is the stripe running along their spine. The colors of bulls on the other hand is dark grey and their legs are orange. They have mane-like long hair on their necks, bellies and in the middle of their backs. They also have white stripes and spots as well as white spots between their eyes. The body weight of the bulls is on average between 98 and 125 kilograms. Their height at the withers can be up to 120 centimeters, but the average is definitely exceeding 1 meter, and their length can be almost 2 meters. The cows are smaller, their weight is between 55 and 68 kilograms. Their height at the withers ranges from 80 centimeters to 1 meter and their body length is approximately one and a half meters. As I mentioned, only the bulls have horns that are twisted one or one and a half times, and the length of these horns is between 60 and 83 centimeters. The Nyala has hairy glands on its legs, with the help of which it leaves its scent everywhere it goes. During blood sampling experiments, it was found that their vitamin A levels were right depending on the amount of stress. Nealas are non-territorial social animals. They live in small, continuously migrating herds. Each herd's living area is around 10 square kilometers. During the day, they prefer to hide in the bushes and are mainly active in the evening and at night. 
they are constantly on the lookout for predators that threaten them. In case of danger, they signal to each other with a barking sound, but they also flee when the impalas, the baboons and the kudus signal a threat. As herbivores, the Nyala's diets consist of leaves, fruits, flowers and twigs. They feed on fresh grass during the rainy season. They mainly dwell in places where there is water around, but they also have adapted to places where water is seasonal. A study in Zululand showed that during the rainy season they fed at night, while at other times they mainly fed in the early morning and late afternoon. Nyalas can breed throughout the year, but the peak seasons are in spring and autumn. The estrus period of the cows is 19 days. In those times the bulls fight with each other, which can sometimes result in serious injuries or even death. And it is not enough for the bull to win the fight. After that they have to court the cow for two more days, only then can the insemination take place. The gestation lasts for seven months, after which a single calf weighing about five kilos is born, in a sheltered place hidden in the bush. The calf remains in its hiding place for about 18 days, during which time the mother nurses it at regular intervals. The calf stays with its mother until the next calf is born, except during the mating season when the bulls drive it away from their mother. Cows reach sexual maturity at the age of one year. Bulls at one and a half years, but bulls do not reproduce before the age of five years. Cows remain with their native herds, while bulls join a bachelor herd. The main threats to Nyala populations are habitat loss, poaching, agriculture and cattle grazing. Diseases such as rinderpest also contributed to the population's decline. Regardless, the situation of the species is stable, which is why the IUCN classifies it as least concern, and it is not included in the Washington Convention or sites. Today, more than 80% of the population is found in protected national parks and sanctuaries, mainly in South African protected areas. In 1999, the total population was estimated at about 32,000 individuals. According to the latest estimates, there are at least 30,000 Nyalas in South Africa, of which 25,000 live in Zululand, in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. In Eswatini, more than 1,000 individuals live in protected areas and farms. In Mozambique, approximately 3,000. In Zimbabwe, more than 1,000. In Malawi, on the other hand, the herd was halved from 3,000. While Namibia has the smallest populations, around 250 nyalas. Bulls are considered trophy animals in Africa because of their horns. In Hungary, you can see Nyalas in the Budapest Zoo. You can watch the full speed build in the speed builds list on my channel. And the habitat will be uploaded to the Steam Workshop, as some of my other habitats are also to be found there. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and let others know about these antelopes. If you have already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, please do so and turn on the notifications so you know when a new animal video is released. Join my Discord to talk about the game or the animals. And you can also help me with other animal presentations if you join as a member to my channel. If you would like to add something, write it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.